22 headhunters and nine healers. Look at them go. <gasps> Synthé, stop. It gets more and more insane every time. Creativity fast. Is this the fastest electro dragon that we've seen though? Fat donut on the town hall. Oh, look, he's charming us. Welcome back to the Coco Invitational. This is a 2v2 Town Hall 16 tournament where the teams have to do one creative attack each. Now we've got Synthe and Ariam up against Rigatoris and Marawi. And Ariam is starting off with a Skelly Bat Donut for these mass rocket loons. The Skelly Donut clearing the clan castle, clearing the Eagle Artillery, and I think, did he get an Expo down there as well? Pretty decent value, great opener, putting him in a really nice position. He has got three healers. I wonder if he has the new Queen ability to give him five. No, he has not. He's brought the Frozen Arrow with the Invisibility Vial. King on the right-hand side, which is going to cut off the Queen. So the Queen will probably do a bit of a charge and go into this area here. We have got two Super Wall Breakers at hand for Arium to use. Now, clearing out the Expo on the left-hand side was very, very nice for the setup on the left-hand side for the Flame Flinger. However, it's taking quite a bit of damage already. It just needs to make sure it gets the scatter shot down. As you can see, the Wall Breakers open up walls here so the Queen can go in here and go for the scatter shot as well as the multi inferno the king has joined up into this area here and everything was taking quite a bit of damage and he decided to use that warden ability early so these loons will have no backup now that jump spell will connect these heroes to the back end of the base to allow them to push through and get the town hall down the king helps out very very nicely here the warden's still here actually still one of the healers from the Queen. Queen goes to ability as she enters the Town Hall compartment, stopping the damage coming in from the Town Hall. And at the moment, Ariam, all he has to do is clear up with all of his Rocket Loons coming in for all of those defenses from so many different angles. Warden still on cleanup duty on the left. He still has the Royal Champion ability as well, which is at hand here in the Town Hall compartment on cleanup duty. The Enemy King is in here, but unfortunately, for Rigor Torres, his base got destroyed by Arium. Great position. Rigor Torres and Marari have to respond. They need a triple or they'll be giving them the early lead. Marawi is up next and he brought in 22 headhunters and nine healers ready to start this one off here on Fluxy's base. is one of the defending bases here for Synthe and Arium. We've got that Warden Walk starting off on the right-hand side. He's placed four healers if there were actually nine. I am now doubting myself if I actually saw nine. <laughs> We've got the uh, Flame Flinger on the north-hand side. Going to go for the scatter shot. There is an Expo here. Oh, perfectly distracting on the right-hand side, but they go down. These ones were not in range, and the Flame Flick is taking so much damage. <gasps> Very early force here. Super minions coming out. Queen started off on that left-hand side. He had some funding set for her to go for the Town Hall compartment. The Super minions will still clear the scatter shot. The Eagle Artillery doing so much damage already, but they still get that compartment down, and Queen enters the Town Hall compartment. There is an invisibility spell, so he has to be careful, make sure that he freezes it in time. Queen will be distracted at first by those clan castle troops that are present from on the Queen. Now the Wardens push through those defenses and building on the right hand side are now going for the Eagle Artillery and here come the Headhunters directly for the King. They will then go for the Queen and the Royal Champion which are both deployed there on the right hand side of the base. Warden ability on here as well. They get that Monolith down before pathing towards those last uh, next few defenses. The Giga Poison though is doing quite a bit of damage in here. He did have the... Uh, 
Rage, uh, not Rage Gem, the uh, Life Gem. So gave them extra hit points, but I think we lost so many of them in here. We still have seven more remaining. The King's going on the south hand side. The Queen actually cleared up some more buildings around the outside, it looks like, which pulled the healers closer to the town hall, doing some damage with some of those bombs in here. This is not looking good with the uh, air defense on that left hand side there as well. He's trying to get it down with that headhunter, but unfortunately the queen's already gone down. Here go the last few headhunters in. Uh, Warden's still on cleanup duty, going for these last few defenses. 45 seconds on the clock. The multi inferno in the core doing damage to all remaining headhunters. The queen's reaching over. She's just hanging in there. She does go down here. The king's trying to break through this wall, so the warden is so low once that king goes down. He does actually still have the Phoenix, which will give him a revive, but 24 seconds. Four buildings remaining. Time is the enemy because the king has to go through two sets of walls. He's stuck on this one and will then have to go through this one as well. And not just that, some traps, the bombs, the skeletons. No, this is unfortunate. Rigatoras and Marawi are starting the war four buildings behind and one star lead goes to synthe and arium synthe bringing in these super barbarians and these super loons here turning them into rocket loons now we've got a mortar here will it get a shot off onto the flame fling is keeping it destructed very nicely it's actually not going off uh, much Went on some of those Barbarians, and now that it's down, Synthes troops can uh, deal with the remaining parts. He's doing a bat donut on the Town Hall! Getting not only the Town Hall, but the Monolith as well! Oh my goodness! One more Invis, and the bats do it! The Town Hall and the Monolith! Synthe! No, he didn't! Oh my days! Queen on that right hand side with the Warden following. There is an Electro Titan as well for any potential traps and the Ice Golem to tank. Flame Flinger has good positioning as you can see. It will go for these defenses here and then go for this multi Archer Tower. Queen did find that hidden Tesla, didn't pull her though, so she continues to the right hand side. Now this Rage Gem from the King is very nice for these heroes doing some additional damage there on the right hand side. There goes the Warden Eternal Tome, which will protect everything from these heavy hitting defenses. They're about to be targeted by not one, but two scatter shots in here once they come in range of this one as well. Those <laughs> he had the arrow as well. What? He had the arrow as well. I don't know if he wanted to pop it already. It did do some damage, but unfortunately, a lot of it is regaining health. The king goes off here. Imagine he brought the earthquake boots here for the queen to allow her to go even further. That would have been nuts. But it doesn't even matter though. His world champions on that right hand side going for the scatter shot. Those barbarians on the north. Headhunters for the enemy queen. The more rocket loons on the left hand side here. Now clearing out those uh, last few defenses in the town hall compartment. Heroes on the North World Champion seeking shield goes off, going from one building to the other alongside the haste. Gem and Synthe has done it. Another triple on the board for himself and Arium. They're holding that lead. Rigo Torres has to triple the next one or two star lead will go for Synthe and Arium. The man Rigo is in and this is the guy who just did the most recent challenge in the game but he knows how to pick apart a base let's put it that way and he's going in with a queen charge on the south hand side but coco loons in here we got a queen charge with some root riders some valkyries in here a few super barbarians but we're going to make sure that Queen gets a lot of value. He's got four Super Wall Breakers to push the Queen far into this base. The Skeleton Spell coming in from Rigo to distract the Monolith in this compartment. Oh, the Queen's walking! He tried to save her by deploying the invisibility. He wanted her to go into this compartment. Now, these healers are also in range. 
Oh, the model is targeting the queen. He's raging her up, trying to keep her alive. I can't shout. It's too late at night, my roommates. <gasps> oh, no. Queen, good freezes from Rigo. Freezing the monolith. She's going for the multi-archer tower first. Good thing she has that frozen arrow here as well. She does make it into this compartment. King cleared out. The defense is on the left here, so she can push forward into the heart of the base. Now he's sending in the Valkyries on the south hand side to go for the scattershot compartment. Early warden ability to make sure he protects them in that uh, compartment here. The ricochet cannon is going to do a lot of damage, as well as the multi inferno, but he sent in the blimp just in time to catch that warden ability as well to go for the town hall compartment with a rage. Should hopefully see the town hall go down. Avoiding that Giga Poison is going to be nice. Now, he's still holding on to a lot of value. World Champions clearing up around the right-hand side. Warden's hanging in there at the moment as well. Good to clean up around the outskirts. And to be honest, not looking too shabby. He has got a problem, though, with these walls and the Queen. One more wall breaker is still available for Rigo to get through. But to be honest, the World Champion looks good. She still has her ability. See shield goes off doing damage to multiple defenses as she goes towards that north hand side about just under a minute left queen's still up he's swagging already he's got the oh i've got that too the barbarians are clearing it up getting him a triple here on ariam's base nicely done for Rigo. oh look he's charming us <laughs> nicely done Ariam is bringing in Zapquake Mass Hogs. He's clearing out the monolith and the spell tower next to the town hall. Nice value because we're bringing in the hogs, which I'm very excited for. Getting rid of one of the expos in there as well can be really good value. Now he's not doing queen charge hogs. He's doing a bit of a hero dive here on the north hand side. King's tanking that expo and will go for the town hall. There's not that much around there, so he should solo handy, handedly be able to take it down. However, he will step in range of the clan castle, pulling those troops, popping the king gone the ability and will still get it down with the poison to help get those clan castle troops down. That shouldn't really be an issue. And the king did his job. Now he's just not going to clear out to the left-hand side. Now we've got the queen on the right-hand side. Pathing through the enemy queen, I think. We already defeated her on Marawi's base. There's one super minion still up here from the clan castle. Shouldn't be an issue for the queen. Popping her ability here, though, since the scatter shot was there. Did take a hit on the unicorn, taking her down. Now on the right hand side, these hogs are coming in. Double multi inferno doing some damage. He sees that. Ariam deploys the heal spell. The giga poison from the second spell tower going off here as well. He uses that warden ability to protect them. There's a lot of damage in here. The eagle artillery as well. Headhunter for the king. Freezing the eagle artillery and one of the multi infernos. Queen's trying to break through to help out here. Now, these hogs have taken so much damage and do not have another heal ready for them. They're just about hanging on here. The ricochet cannons picking them off three by three, not one by one. But we still have the diggy, a bunch more hogs from the south hand side there as well. Royal Champion has her ability. Arium, what a performance. Mass hogs at Town Hall 16 can get it done. Nicely done there. They're looking very strong at the moment. They have now gone three hits and they've gone perfect so far. Nine stars for Cynthia and Ariam. Marawi's bringing in the Mass Electro Titans. I don't think I've seen Mass Electro Titans before. Not like completely maxed out. Come and oh my god. He's got the Royal Champion on the left-hand side. He already used some Zapquakes. Clearing out one of the Infernos, getting a Ricochet Cannon and the enemy Queen down from this left-hand side. And the Royal Champion is flying through that left-hand side. And he's going to actually even recall her and reuse her later on in the attack. Now, he's got a few Electro Titans helping out the heroes on the left. And we've scattered a few around that north hand side to help go into this north hand side compartment. The log launcher 
from Morawi will be opening up these walls to the heart of the base. If they're successful and open up all the way, we'll be able to get these troops into the town hall compartment. Now they're taking quite a bit of damage. One more log will open up all of the walls. Now the Giga Poison will be doing some damage. Queen ability goes off. And on that right hand side, the Warden's also gone off as these Electro Titans are going for the scatter shot. This Warden has got both books, which means it's going to regenerate the health, but also uh, make them immune. Raging up the Electro Titans on that left hand side to the Town Hall compartment, making them invisible for the Town Hall. Ah, no! The Invisibility Spell Tower goes off. He did not have a freeze though to stop it. The Aura and those Electro Titans will be getting them done. These ones are stuck in this compartment. King's clearing up around the outside. King still has his ability and he still has the Royal Champion ability as well, which she came through from that left-hand side as she was clearing up from the left-hand side area. King ability goes off and Mirari tripling with a mass Electro Titan at Town Hall 16. Synthe and Ariam have one star lead, but it's only four buildings. A four building difference could be giving them the win if Synthe triples the next attack. Zapquake, but the double Zapquake from Synthe. And he's actually going for. Oh, this is interesting. He did some damage in the core of the base. What did he clear off? <gasps> I realized what he was doing. <laughs> the <laughs> it gets more and more insane every time Synthe uses the arrow. What was that? Oh my goodness! Synthe, stop! Stone Slammer on the left. Queen used the arrow, absolutely destroyed this base. He had the King on the north, Stone Slammer for cleanup there, getting that last Inferno down, and he's using these Rocket Loons on the right-hand side now. Warden ability with the Royal Champion, actually. And that will go into the Town Hall compartment. Now, what scares me is that invisibility spell. He's got a few Rocket Loons going in. They're trying to set it off, but it's not going to go off just yet. There goes the uh, Royal Champion ability. Good thing he had enough Loons to get that Town Hall down before the invisibility went off. Ooh. But unfortunately, that Monolith is going to stay up. <gasps> Oh no! Oh no! The monolith's gonna stay up! <gasps> I don't even know what to say. There is a Root Rider still left, but that monolith just does so. Root Rider? Uh, <laughs> Dragon Rider. But it does so much damage and absolutely clears that Dragon Rider off of the base. Now, to be honest. All this has to do is get enough percent, and it's just too close. All it had to do... Oh no, it's going to be a few buildings short. He needed, what was it, the 96, 97 percent to secure the win, and he's at 92, which means Rigo Torres and Marawi still have a shot at a victory. If Rigo triples... He will be staying in the upper bracket with Marawi, and Synthe and Arian will be going to the lower bracket. No pressure. Here it is, Rigo, and he's bringing in the Electro Dragons for Synthe's base. Now they do have to do one creative attack and one try hard attack. So this is the try hard attack coming in. Queen on the right hand side. We've got the King on the south, which is going to give the funding very early warn ability. Now, this time he did not use a blimp to path to the town hall compartment. He's got a stone slammer to support these electro dragons. They clear that right hand side, getting this first scatter shot down as well as pathing towards the heart of the base. We also have these electro dragons bunched up, four of them going to the town hall compartment, freezing the, for the invisibility spell tower, but it still goes off there. Did he miss? 
Queen does go through. The Electro Dragon is still case, freezing that town hall. I'm unsure if that freeze placement was wrong or if my eyes are uh, sleepy. I mean, it is uh, midnight. <laughs> now, the Queen's still pathing forward. They've secured the town hall on the right hand side. The Electro Dragon's on the left wing. They're slowly taking quite a bit of damage here. This multi inferno is taking some damage itself, though, by these chains. However, all of these Electro Dragons on the south will be going down. Only one more remaining on the right hand side, but Rigo still has. The Royal Champion on the left-hand side going for cleanup. The enemy Queen is here, though, and he does not have a Headhunter. One Freeze is at hand. He'll use it here on the Queen, though, to help push her through. Should be enough. Scatter shots going off. The Electro Dragon on the right will go down. Queen Ability gives her some additional healers. Creativity <laughs> fast. Is this the fastest Electro Dragon that we've seen, though? If I remember correctly, Rikiras may have done a quicker one in the previous season, but he got the triple down, and Rigatores and Mirari are standing strong in the upper bracket, which is not the end of Synthe and Aram. We'll see them again in the lower bracket. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.